Hey, real quick, real quick. I'm just getting back from the mall. So, and it's between us, the, 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 the fragrance enthusiast collectors. Don't you hate, man? And, and I know they don't know. <laughs> but when you walk inside of the store, it's like three different women run up to you with a Dior Sauvage sampler. It happens to me all the time. I guess I look like the Dior Sauvage type of guy. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I love the parfum. That's the only one I really love in the elixir. But it never fails. And I asked the lady today. I said, between me and you, do I look like I love Dior Sauvage? Or you're just assuming that this is my speed? Y'all let me know. How many times have you been bum-rushed? With the Dior Sauvage tester strip or sample. I think it's funny by now. Or not. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deja LX Jr. And I am back with another fragrance video, all right? So today, we will be talking about a fragrance that has a lot of uh, hype, expectations, confusion, questions, and a lot of... Uh, different thoughts um, about this new release, all right? But we're going to get into it in just one second. Uh, but uh, smell good family. Hopefully everyone is doing well, doing fantastic, doing great. If it can go great, I hope it is going great for sure. And, um, you know, just, you know, check on your loved ones, man. Check on your loved ones. Check on your strong friends. Check on, you know, all your folks, man. Just make sure everybody's doing okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get down to it, man. Smell Good Family, this has been one of the most anticipated releases, and I have a sample, a cardic sample um, of this fragrance uh, from the house of Giorgio Armani. All right, we're gonna be talking about Aqua Dijon's uh, Parfum, Aqua Dijon Parfum, all right? So why the questions and confusions? Well, if you don't know, most of you probably do watching this, that. There's a lot of conversation that Profumo, the well-loved and adored Profumo, is being repackaged. Now, over the last year and a year and a half, you don't really see Profumo, well, I don't see Profumo at all in uh, retail stores, and you don't really see it online. And matter of fact, the prices are going up. You know, the sizes of the bottle, I think they only seen 75 mLs available. So Profumo for a while has been um, kind of hard to get. All right, you can still get it, but it's been kind of hard to get. Well, here comes the Parfum, all right? So we're gonna smell this. We're gonna see exactly what is true. Does it smell a lot like, a lot like Profumo? Is it Profumo? Or are we getting something a little bit different? All right, so I'm gonna give my first initial thoughts and then let you know if I'm gonna be getting a full bottle, is a full bottle worthy? All of those great questions that um, come to your mind before you smell a fragrance, all right? So shout out to my good friend, uh, Miss Heather, out at my local dealer. She provided me um, with this uh, card to sample and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. So of course you got the Dillard's uh, 2 ml atomizer just like you guys have seen so many times before and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on skin so we can see exactly what is going on. Now I do own a bottle of Profumo as a matter of fact I got probably a little more than oh, the top fill. I probably got a little bit more then half of my bottle left from a 4.2 ounce. So um, I've been contemplating getting a new bottle, um, but maybe I don't have to. So let's go ahead and get this on my right hand here and see these things, these, these atomizers be so tight. Ooh, 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 three sprays, three sprays. In the air right away, I get that Aqua Dijon flavor and let's see what we got. <laughs> yeah Profumo Profumo I thought about bringing my Profumo bottle in here But I said you know what No I'm going to make this all about the parfum And then maybe I could do a side by side Later on But off the top of my nose I mean off the top of the fragrance um, Aqua Dijo DNA and as you can see, I'm a little underwhelmed. Um, even though I love the Profumo DNA, 
Aqua Dijo DNA is present. Um, C notes, it has some depth to it, a little denser style of fragrance. Definitely get like a geranium patchouli feel to it. Slight aquatic feel. Not really C notes, but slight aquatic feel. Kind of salty, little salty vibe to it as well. But on my skin, and from what my brain knows of Profumo, this is Profumo. Yeah, does it smell great? Absolutely, it smells really good. But the same, um, the same thoughts of when you want to wear Profumo, you can apply it to the Parfum as well. So let's go ahead and go to the notes of the new Aqua de Jo um, uh, Parfum. Now, I, I'm not, um, it doesn't smell bad. I'm just a little underwhelmed and it was out there. I kind of knew going in what to expect uh, without smelling it because of the conversation out there of the two. So um, let's read some of the notes. Well, let's read the notes uh, according to Fragrantica. Um, Aqua de Jo's Parfumo Main Accords, aromatic, marine, fresh, spicy, woody, patchouli, ambery, warm, spicy, salty, citrusy, and aquatic style of a fragrance. Top notes, marine notes and bergamot, okay? Mint notes, rosemary, geranium, and clary sage. And in the base, you get patchouli and olibanum. Now, what's missing here is the incense note that is so loved in the uh, uh, in Profumo. But I think the olibanum and the patchouli uh, are coming together to give off not a smoky feel, but a... Um, yeah, I guess a smoky feel. Not an incense feel, but a slight smoky touch. Yeah, because I do know in the Profumo, the incense is matched up. So the only difference is, I think in Profumo, they call it C notes. And then you have the incense uh, in the base of that. But to be honest with you, yeah, as it's sitting on my skin, it's um, it's very smooth. It, it's very nice. Um, you go, you're going to get compliments. This is definitely the uh, another um, mature, um, a mature version of the Aqua de Jo DNA, just like you get with Profumo. All right. So in my case, like I said, I've been going back and forth. Hey, should I get another bottle of Profumo before the stock runs dry? Now to answer my question on that, the answer is no. I no longer have the desire to go for a Profumo style bottle. I just get the perfume whenever I get to the point of getting it. And at this point, I don't know when that's going to be. I mean, if it's not a gift or something that's given to me, it's probably going to be quite some time before I add that bottle to my collection. Now, what it does do is allow me to go ahead and kind of run a tab on my Profumo because I've been very lightly wearing it due to the fact that it's hard to get. Um, so that's what also that means uh, that for me. Okay. Now, for those wondering to yourself, man, is it not good, D, your energy? No, 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 it smells really good. Matter of fact, it smells great. But being a collector and enthusiast uh, that I am, at this point in time, if you're rolling out Aqua de Jo Parfum, I'm expecting something different. I'm expecting something, um, yeah, different. So that's gonna challenge my nose in a way that we haven't gotten from um, any of the, uh, any previous flankers to uh, the Aqua de Jo line, which is an iconic, iconic line for sure in men's fragrance and perfumery. Definitely, for sure, for sure. So, um, the rating I would give it, honestly, I would give it the same rating I would give Profumo because I love Profumo. I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of a 10, but due to the fact that I've experienced this DNA before, it's not, you know, you know, making me excited enough to give it anything higher, okay? So, it's dried down a little bit more. Yeah, and it's good. The only slight difference, slight difference is, I, I can tell that this one is a little bit more smooth. Um, and when I say smooth, kind of kind of think of a real fine wine, a real fine wine that has, you know, been, you know, it's taken its time and been developed properly to the highest level. And not saying Profumo isn't, Let's just say it's a, a, a notch, a, a touch over uh, Profumo's quality. 
I ain't gonna say quality, just the smooth effect. And I don't know, maybe it's the marine notes in Olabanum maybe giving it that feel, um, but I'm not sure. But also, I'm gonna have to spend time with both of them. So like I said, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison in a future video to kind of you know see what Profumo does to challenge the new Parfum. So, you know, we'll get to that at a later date. But my all around thought is, the new Aqua de Jo Parfum smells a lot like Aqua de Jo's Profumo. And if you have Profumo, you might not need the Parfum unless you're running low or it's an, uh, unless it's an all-timer for you, you wanna have it in your collection, then you can get a bottle. Now, retail on this thing is $160, all right? So the price is going up um, on these fragrances steadily. So I remember a bottle of Aqua de Jo was maybe around that 130, 140 mark. So it's definitely been pushed up um, with the Parfum concentration um, that they are uh, rolling out this time around. So again, smells really, really good. It's really, really close. I'm not, you know, nothing exciting to me here, but it smells great. I don't want it. I don't want no one to get confused. Smells great. Eight and a five, eight, eight and a half out of a ten ranking. Like Profumo, you could do everything with the Parfum. Everything. Very versatile. Um, very appropriate for a lot of different situations and scenarios. Pretty much any time of year, any type of situation you want to wear the new Parfum, like you were wearing Profumo, same thing. Like, literally, same thing. I don't have anything else to give you um, to add to your Profumo uh, take, all right? So again, uh, shout out to my Dillard's family, my Dillard's team, um, my my very good friend, Miss Heather, thank you so much uh, for blessing me with a sample of this so I can come and I can give my thoughts and opinions to, God, to you guys uh, on the first impression, all right? So, yeah, that's gonna wrap up this first impressions of the new Aqua de Jo Parfum, all right? We'll talk more about this at a later date. And uh, if I have some more insight, then I will bring it to you guys, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you got something from it. Hopefully the questions that you, know, you had about Profumo and the new Parfum, hopefully I was able to give you some insight and answer those questions for you guys, all right? So until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. And uh, y'all know what to do, man. Invest in yourselves, pour into you. Remember what you put out. What you put out is what you're gonna get back, all right? So splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around, all right? Appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the love. Um, it really means a lot to you, boy. Thank y'all, all right?